Welcome to Granite Shorts. Today we'll tackle a very common question. How do you tell granite, like this one, from marble? Let's start with granite. Granites are formed by magma that cool down deep inside the Earth's crust. They can also be metamorphic in their nature, meaning uh, they were already um, magmatic rock that was compressed under high pressure and heat. The easiest way to tell granite from other stones is by looking deep into its structure. You'll be able to see very fine crystals of different colors that make up the overall appearance of the stone. Another key feature of granite that lets you distinguish it from other stones is the fact that it usually consists of many different colors. In this case, we have an overall appearance of a light brown, maybe a, a beige color. But when you look close, you'll see white, gray, black, and some brown. This is something that um, doesn't happen in marble. Marble generally is just one solid color, maybe two different colors. And lastly, if you're in doubt, look at the size of the slab. Granite usually comes in larger slabs than marble because of its strength. Marble, such as this beautiful crema marfil, is a more homogeneous and compact rock. It can be both metamorphic and sedimentary, but it always contains calcite. Do you remember the crystals we found in granite? Well, there's none of those in marble. What you do have is slight veining and a very soft appearance. Another way of telling marble from granite is by looking closely at uh, the finish, the shine. Since marble is a softer stone, it's very hard to bring it to that same very mirror-like uh, gloss that granite often gets. Some marbles can be very wild in their appearance, but still, the color variation is rather small. You have beiges here and a little bit of light browns. Nothing really that stands out from the whole slab. This is limestone, and limestone is a sedimentary stone. Uh, it often contains organic remains, such as little shells, and that's pretty cool. This is a great example of slate. Slate is a material that's very layered. Depending on what clay it was formed from, it's going to have different coloration. Slate only comes in a home finish, which is great for flooring, both indoors and outdoors, because of its uh, non-slippery character. This is quartzite. As the name suggests, uh, the main mineral here is quartz. And if you look really, really close, you'll see the really fine uh, crystals of quartz in it. And it has a very striking appearance. Those are very rare stones. Here we have a terrific example of travertine. Travertine is a very soft, porous material. It has tons of cavities that need to be filled before it's polished. This is still one of my favorite stones because of the very soft and warm looks. And this is a honed example of travertine. And you'll see the stone very often in bathrooms, especially as vanity tops and uh, tiles. This magnificent stone is onyx. You see plenty of different colors. It's very intense. Uh, the pattern is very wild. They come in a couple of different colors. Actually, there's white, red, um, honey onyx. But one thing that uh, is common to all of them is the fact that they're translucent. So you can light it up from underneath and it will give a very nice glow. So we put the light behind this lamp to show you how beautiful it looks when it's lit up. And because of its uh, translucence, it's often used for decorative purposes. Of all of the stones we've shown you today, granite is by far the most popular, especially for kitchens. That's because it's extremely durable. But for other projects in your home, such as vanity tops, fireplace surrounds, uh, furniture pieces, small coffee tables, other stones uh, may be the better choice. Think about slate, onyx, travertine, limestone, quartzite. Those stones can also fit your home design perfectly and may just look better than granite and marble. Thank you for watching Granite Shorts. I'll see you next time.